What's up guys? Sorry there was no video last week, and for the next two weeks there isn't going to be a video either, and uh, the critical reviews may stop for a minute. Um, I don't really have the luxury of seeing every single movie that comes out. I only get to see the ones that I really, really want to, and um, just because timing and my job and all that. Uh, so... Um, the movies that I really want to see, I managed to get to. This is one of them. Sorry that it's actually a couple days late. Uh, last week, the reason that there wasn't up, and the reason that this one's up late, is I was traveling for reasons I will get into in another video. I don't want to get into that here. Um, and the reason that they're not going to be another one for the next two weeks is actually going to come in another video as well. It's not going to be the same one. Um, or it might be I have not decided that yet. Um, anyway, for now, I'm going to get into the review of... Spider-Man Far From Home. Enjoy. Spider-Man Far From Home is the latest entry into the MCU, starring Tom Holland as Peter Parker. And this movie is freaking amazing. So, for one, it really plays on the continuation of Tom Holland as Parker. And Tom Holland pulls off Parker really, really, really well. He manages to do the whole um, nerdy aspect that McGuire pulled off really well, and then the suave Spider-Man that Garfield was able to do, and he just, he does a really good job of portraying both sides. This movie does a lot of good, uh, Mysterio is one of the best villains that the MCU has had, I'm sorry if you didn't know that, um, but if you know who Mysterio is, which I hope you do going into this, you know Mysterio is the bad guy, he's Mysterio, it's what he does, he lies to people. But sorry if you didn't. Jake Gyllenhaal does a great job as Mysterio. He uh, manages to play off the whole, I'm a good guy, and then I'm not really, really well. He pulls off the um, duality of the character of Mysterio very well. My biggest gripe for with uh, Gyllenhaal's performance as Mysterio would be some of the uh, writing that went into Mysterio. Just some of the parts make it seem a little odd. For me, this is one of the greatest films the MCU has. I am a little Biased personally though, as Spider-Man is probably my favorite superhero right behind uh, Red Hood. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Spider-Man is one of the first heroes that I knew about, um, as a lot of people do. He's just, he's always been one of my favorites. Parker is great, uh, though personally Miles Morales is my personal favorite. Spider-Man, uh, yeah, I, I loved Into the Spider-Verse quite a bit. That's not what I'm talking about. Zendaya does a great job as MJ. I really like this portrayal of MJ, despite her not being Mary Jane, but I'm actually totally fine with that. As Mary Jane's not personally my favorite Spider-Man love interest. I mean, just the way that she is in the comics and whatnot makes her personally, for me, not the best. I like Gwen Stacy a little bit more. Um, again, beside the point, this movie finally introduces J. Jonah Jameson back in, and I was so happy when that when they did that. Um, it's in the mid credit scene, if you haven't seen the movie. Uh, just wait for that and you'll see it. Uh, the end credit scene is also really funny um, with just another reveal that I'm not going to get into. Spoilers. If you enjoy Spider-Man, you are going to enjoy this film. I can pretty much guarantee that. Ned's a lot of fun as well. Uh, you know, Parker's best friend and all in this uh, in these movies. He does a great job. The actor is really funny. And just his uh, relationship with Betty in this film, I personally found really, really funny. Um, just the way that they interact for a good majority of the film. Uh, and then how that all goes, I thought that was good. Honestly, if you like the Spider-Man movies, if you like Spider-Man in general, go watch this movie. You are going to really enjoy it. With that being said, guys, for me, this film rolls an 18. Not a perfect movie, though I don't really think my, though for me, perfect films are few and far between. Even they have problems. I've mentioned that in my Toy Story 4 review. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Uh, be expecting a video maybe in tomorrow or a couple of days explaining where I was last week and potentially where I'm going to be for the next two weeks um, in terms of where videos are coming. Um, and then another video explaining different types of videos that I plan on uploading and just some random information about me. Um, anyway, that's all that I'm going to have for now, guys. I hope that you all have a great day. Peace out, my friends.